What is going on guys? My name is Anthony or the Great Adventure Geek here at a rainy Great Adventure for opening day of the 2023 season. So yeah, so oh, we're still doing the six. I never knew there was even a sign there. Yeah, but I know not a lot's open. El Toro's still closed. Haven't heard anything on Nitro yet for the season, but we're gonna check out what's new around the park for this season. So yeah, it's about 60 degrees, but you have the rain, so not ideal. Yeah, we're gonna get inside the park and check out what's new. Here we go. So we are now in the park and we are greeted with the rubber ducky. Right, right in the middle of the park mountain. I don't know, I don't know what prompted this, but Oh, would you look at that? I, I love the contrast. You have, you know, this uh, war memorial, uh, an M&M, &M, and then you have the rubber ducky sitting front and center. But look at this thing. And then you have an even more. Look at that. It looks like they're still setting this up. I don't know what they're trying to do, but... That's pretty cool. So right here you can see they're advertising for Spring Break, which is their new festival or event going on during Spring Break. So starting April 8th through the 15th. So for a couple hours at the end of the day, they're doing uh, two haunted houses, scare zones, and a couple coasters. So that's pretty neat actually, you know, doing something during Spring Break. But yeah, we're walking just around the park. In the background you can see a closed El Toro. It's funny because I remember being so excited to get on El Toro last year, but it just sits here closed. Yeah, but you know what? The weather's really not that bad. It's doable. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of crazy how fast the seasons go by. It's, I remember walking through here, you know, 2015 opening day, 2016 opening day, you know, doing the same thing, recording, and we're here. It's 2023. You know, so many things have changed, but so many things have stayed the same. Like the weirdly smelling arcade, weirdly smelling for who knows how long. Still the same smell. So yeah, this is now the site of, well, still the parachutes, but now a permanently closed parachutes, unfortunately. As you can read the sign, the parachutes are closed and we make new event. Ride has been a part of the Six Flags family for quite a long time, starting at Six Flags St. Louis or the then Six Flags over Mid America in the 1970s, and then in the early 80s, it made its way over here to Great Adventure. So everything seems to be intact. Uh, the vehicles are still there, the operator booths are still there, but it is closed. I'm assuming that it's still operational, but it looks like you know the maintenance pretty much stopped on everything. So. Eventually, unfortunately, they're gonna take this thing down. Uh, you know, you gotta think with the space behind here, in between this Green Lantern and Cod, take out Twister. I mean, there's a little bit of space over here. Yeah, it is unfortunate seeing a ride that's been part of the park for this long being taken out. This entire area, you notice uh, over there, it's boarded up a little bit. Right here, it's boarded up. Definitely can make some future expansions over here, but. Parachuter's Perch has the plaque right here. Closed forever, probably. So this is new Arboretum at the park. Enjoy your stroll through this garden. So yeah, this is where they had the tree maze last year during Holiday in the Park. But yeah, this is, it's nice. I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot of trees. Yeah, I'm actually wondering how far this goes and I guess it has, yeah, so. So Blue Atlas Cedar, a, uh, I'm not even gonna try on that one. Japanese Holly, yeah, but this is nice. So this takes you around a loop through, uh, right just around Cyborg, right back there. That was nice. It'd be cool if they could incorporate some more, maybe flowers in here. See, so yeah, I like these ones. These ones are pretty cool. Smells like this must be new moss that they just placed down. Yeah, and it runs right along the sideboard queue out there. Oh, look at that! It's it's Porky Pig going into the trailer right there. 
Would you look at that? Anyway, it's nice. Um, it'd be cool if they put like maybe like a swing in here, like one of those swings that you can sit down, and that'd be pretty neat. Yeah, that's the new garden that's placed over here near you know, Cyborg in the Metropolis area of the park. Pretty nice. So yeah, so we just got a light sign ride on Skull Mountain, so that was pretty crazy. I've never gotten one, so that was neat. And then we're over here in this new area with Barnstormer, so this wide open concourse, and then look at this. So they finally put Barnstormer in. You know what? We checked in here so much last year, and it just wasn't open. You know, coming soon, Barnstormer. It looks like they're programming the ride right now, but look at this. Finally open, looks good, new set of paint. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, not much is open, but there's plenty of changes around the park like this. That's always great to see. I've already seen photos from him. New nitro trains, what? So we're now here in the Jersey Devil Barbecue, and right here we get a beautiful angle of, so that's the new train going on nitro, or for now nitro. And then you can see the two old trains. One of them was repainted already to that nice blue. It uh, looks really good. And then the other one's staying the same for now. But there's the new train in all its glory in the maintenance shed. They're open. Yeah, so it's uh, whatever's going to happen to Nitro, if they're preparing for a retheme or if they're just going to repaint it or something. But something, there's change coming to Nitro. Look at those new trains. Bunch of new things here at Great Adventure. First train of the year. So yeah, it is pouring rain here at Great Adventure. You know, we got a ride on Jersey Devil running very well. Probably one of the best rides I've gotten on it. Yeah, we're gonna find something to do. Uh, it's it's just crazy here. You don't even have your hood on. I got a vlog. Oh my god. Very important. See, I think we're gonna head over to the other side of the park to check out what's going on there. Oh, would you look at that? There's some El Toro trains. I know that there's the new train. They repainted the Kia. Actually, there it is, right there. You can see the repainted Kia train. So that's the original El Toro colors, that really dark brown. But there's not too much progress over on El Toro from this angle. We'll probably go check out what we can see, but... Yeah, but there's that new train over there. Pretty cool. But over here in the Golden Kingdom, it's raining, so Kingda Ka is not open. We haven't seen Zumanjaro run, but we'll see. The problem is you walk all the way down there, and then it's not open, then you gotta walk all the way back. Yeah, there it is, new Toro train. So we're here right at Plaza del Carnaval and El Toro, Tango, and Macho Nacho are opening this summer. So, close, oh, we can go ride that. Yeah, pretty unfortunate. And then we got uh, the new shop, the Walkway Shop. Um, they couldn't figure out a better name than this. Walkway Shop, why not? Yeah, so, it is pretty unfortunate. El Toro is awesome, but you know what? They gotta, they gotta fix it. Look at this beautiful, beautiful theming up here. Yeah, what's different about this one, most of them are saying Memorial Day. This one says this summer. So they're probably anticipating a little bit of a later opening on Plaza del Carnaval. So yeah, so it's a similar site over here at Frontier Adventures. It's just all blocked off. Medusa, Mine Train, Log Flume, the other side of Skyway. Both sides are actually closed until Memorial Day. Um, yeah, like I said, until Memorial Day. It's pretty crazy, especially around like Mine Train and Medusa, which they just rethemed. It's closed. It's really unfortunate. Uh, yeah, but that, that, so now it's this, Plaza del Carnaval, this side of the park. You know, it's... It was raining, so Kinda Ka wasn't, um, Kinda Ka's not open. We got a ride on Zumajara, but not much open on this side of the park, unfortunately. And would you look at that? Blue skies are back over the park. Don't look at that change. Um, yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, so they're slowly making their way, but that looks great, actually. Yeah, and then you still, it's still a little gray over here, but yeah. I think at some point we're gonna hitch a ride over on Green Lantern. Uh, it's been closed a little bit, but. I think it's open right now. 
Yeah, we'll definitely get a ride on that, but hopefully our luck is turning today. Yeah, we'll see. So in contrast to Skull Mountain where all the lights were on, we just rode Dark Knight, all the lights were off and there were no effects running, which is wild. Um, so I just found that crazy. Yeah, but it really brightened up here. It looks great. Uh, turned out to be a beautiful day because it's warm. It was just raining, but this is awesome. Uh, there's, you can kind of see the other angle of whatever that is on Batman. Yeah, but what's going on here? No lights, or nothing on. No lights, no effects on Dark Knight. Yeah, but just as we're walking out of the park here, uh, definitely some interesting new things happening. Like, for example, over at Harley Quinn, uh, not in the shot, but we were on it before, eyeglasses had to be removed, which is, you know, family ride. I just rode with my eyeglasses on Skull Mountain, uh, Dark Knight, Justice League. Not Justice League's not a coaster, but we'll get to Justice League's policy in a minute. But anyway, you no eyeglasses on Harley Quinn. That's definitely a change, you know? I know family ride you would expect to be able to keep them on but who knows and then justice league no more bags inside the train with you so if you want to leave a bag you got to leave it on the ride platform but unfortunately there's no lockers really nearby they used to have them over there but so yeah a bunch of different things going on it's the first day of the season i'm sure they might be worked out but definitely some interesting things right here is the uh <laughs> aftermath maze Kind of being refurbished for it. What's in that truck? Huh. So yeah, like I said, that's gonna be pretty much it for here at opening day at Six Flags Great Adventure. You know, a lot of rides are closed, unfortunately, but you know what? Rain went away, so it turned out to be a nice one. Yeah, but it's great to be back at the park and definitely gonna be back soon to check out things like Scream Break and all the other events going on. Yeah, so. We'll see you next time here on Great Adventure Geek. If you like what you saw, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, or maybe consider subscribing. See you guys.